Hello everybody, my name is Jem Silva and I'm the founder of Jem Eco-Friendly Recycling Foundation. Today we're gonna be walking through the city trying to find a unique piece to donate to our bakery, which is, there have been one of our number one sponsors since day one. I would also like to wish you all a happy new year and all the best for you and your family. Please stay tuned with us and follow me out to the city in order to find a unique piece Okay, we are in our first bin right now, so let's see what we can get inside. See if there is anything that it could be recycled in order to... Uh, I do see a lot of cardboard and stuff like that, so there is nothing on this bin for sure. Let's just walk through the city and see what we can accomplish. So we do have another bin right here, so I hope we can find something on this one. I'm pretty sure I will be able to find something. Oh my god, this is amazing, man. Oh, I can't believe I just... I'm pretty sure I can do something pretty cool with this thing. Here, I think these things came from pallets and you can even see the nails on it. I think I can probably build something pretty insane with this stuff. This would be pretty amazing. Here we got tons tons of pallets and not just that look what i just found under look at this bag i can definitely restore this thing and donate to somebody i'm so excited i'm so happy that i came down today man can't wait having said that we're gonna run right now to tool library i want you guys to follow me up uh we're gonna go to the makeup space trying to make something pretty insane to donate to our bakery our number one sponsor stay tuned follow me Okay, everybody, we just arrived right here now at the Toronto Library. I can't wait to see what we're gonna accomplish this time. So please, follow me up and let's see what we can get it through. Hey, Jan, I'm here today. Let's see what we can accomplish. Whoa, look at all the scrap that I found. I'm pretty sure it came from some uh, pallets. My name is Julia Gregoire. Uh, I'm a carpenter of five years. I'm an apprentice. Uh, and I started volunteering here in the summer. Uh, I'm a shop super here. I help teach classes and I am a general cheerleader for people who come in and do their projects. The Toronto Library and the Makerspace, I volunteer with the Makerspace specifically. And the Makerspace is a great area for you to come down in to work on your projects, to ask other people for advice, to see what other people are doing, and to pick up skills along the way to expand your knowledge and expand your skills.
guys. As I told you guys before, I'm pretty sure this came from pallets. So you can see the nails on it. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to remove all the nails from all these pieces in order for us to create something unique. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come up with something very unique and different. So stay tuned and help me out with this, guys. Stay tuned with me. I just finished stripping all these pieces. Now we're gonna head into the wood shop so we can do some 45s and create this unique piece. Come, follow me. Well, I started coming here because when I'm in between jobs, I lose access to a wood shop. I lose access to a lot of these tools. And when I heard about this place, I thought it was a great opportunity to come down and get involved in building my own projects using a lot of tools that I would normally have access to when I'm in a wood shop. But when I'm in between jobs, I, I don't have that anymore. I live in a one bedroom apartment. I don't have room to have my own wood shop. So I started coming down. I started taking some certifications on the wood shop, blazer cutter, the CNC, and the most joy that I get out of here is really helping support the people on their projects. Um, helping people figure out how to work on their project, new techniques, help them with the tools, and really encourage them to take risks and encourage them in learning the skills they need. Because everybody, everybody can do it. Sometimes you just need a cheerleader, and I'm that cheerleader. that are available for everybody to use. We have people who are more than help you, happy to help you with your project. And uh, we're open five days a week, 10 hours a day. And we're a very welcoming community and we would love to see you come down.
morning everybody, it's Michael Chaffee and I'm here on location at our bakery and cafe at 326 Marley Avenue in North York. So as you know, um, our bakery is actually one of the biggest sponsors and main sponsors for GEM Eco-Friendly Recycling Foundation. Uh, we have a great relationship with them and they have been alongside us since the very beginning. So as you saw, Jem is out in the city and he's trying to find some new material to, to put together a pretty cool piece. Uh, and Eddie has no idea that that's happening. Um, you know, we've done work with them in the past. So, you know, a little while back, um, we got a, we received the phone call from Eddie that, you know, he had, he was doing some renovations upstairs and he had a door. Uh, this door was to be disposed of. So Jem made his way over here, picked it up. And then uh, he actually uh, did some work to it, uh, restored it and brought it back in. So as you can see behind me, it's currently hanging on the wall and you can see some real estate. And as he spoke to, um, these new pieces are gonna be coming in today. We're just waiting for him to show up. So he should be here any moment now. Hey, Jem. How's it going, man? Mike, nice to see you again, man. How's awesome. Everything? Really good, man. Nice. So these are the pieces? These are the pieces that I've been walking around the city, trying to find some uh, disposable material to build them. Those are great. Yeah. Wow. This wall. Yeah, those will fill the wall up really good. And I think the colors now match. Yep, for sure. I don't know if you know the history a little bit, but, you know, uh, we build a different piece. And I believe that the color that I had on it was grayish and we got to match all the wall. So now I believe they're even the size of it, I think. Oh yeah, that'll fill up perfectly. Yeah. Hey, so why don't you get, why don't you start mounting these and I'll go grab Eddie Great. and uh, chat with him. Yeah. yeah, that'll be awesome. Great, awesome, no worries. Eddie, I want to first start off by thanking you for being such a huge supporter for the show. Um, you know, I, I just want to ask you a couple questions just about the bakery in general. Uh, first and foremost is, how did this all get started? How did our bakery come to be? Well, uh, most of it was uh, probably by accident. <laughs> uh, I mean, I used to work in the bakery business uh, here and uh, I had a co-worker that worked with me and uh, uh, there was a bakery in the neighborhood for sale. This goes back to 16 years ago or so. Went to look at it, really liked it, jumped in, bought the place, and uh, the 
rest is history. Uh, so that's the Finchonism location about 16 years ago. And we've been in this neighborhood, uh, Marleyville, for about to 10 years now. Great. And when you come in in the morning and, you know, how do you, how do you determine success when you walk into your bakery? And what makes you, what makes you super proud of this venture and this, this atmosphere? Well, it's uh, mostly seeing the customers that are satisfied, they're happy, it's a neighborhood spot. Uh, I believe that bakery businesses belong in every neighborhood across the city. A place where the neighbors can come and have a coffee, they meet other neighbors on the streets. And uh, they just spend a few uh, minutes a day and uh, they go on with the rest of the day. That's awesome. How many staff do you have in this location? Uh, in this location, I have about 15. 15? Yeah, 15. Wow. Some part timers, some full timers. There's bakers, there's pastry shops, counter staff. That's amazing. Cooks. So there's a uh, Great. So this, this initial piece that we were talking about earlier, um, you know, we heard some of the background around it. Um, how do you feel about it? It looks, looks very good. Cool. You know, I never thought a uh, door would turn out this beautiful. But it's got some, some great photos in there, obviously, about uh, a lot of historical stuff, which is fantastic. Yes. Uh, some of your offerings as well, which is great. These all my pictures are actually from uh, back home. Uh, yeah. Our, our house oven. Uh, that's my mom there in the middle making some bread. We never had a bakery back home, but uh, she used to make bread every single week. We had a huge family. So that's where it all started. Kind of, but uh, well, my mom really did it. I never really did anything there, but uh, I guess uh, that kind of uh, stays in you as you uh, grow. For sure. So it looks like Jem's just about done hanging these pieces up. What do you think? It's beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful. It looks uh, like another two windows. Uh, we just got to come up with the uh, background for it. Thank you once again, Russ. Everything you have done for us. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we like it. It's very nice. I think it looks great. It's very nice. It's complete. Uh, you know, the door was already beautiful, uh, but now with the two windows on the side, I'm sure we're going to put something really nice and creative there. And, uh, it's beautiful. Uh, I'm trying to find something to put here and complete this. So, Eddie, I want to thank you so much for welcoming us into your bakery um, and, and for getting all this put together. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab some, something to eat for sure. Uh, everything looks so delicious. So thank you very much for everything you do in our community, thank for you. the business and for everything. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, send us an email or hop on our website at jebecofriendly.cm.